loving yourself first. It's not selfish. In fact, it's mandatory. And in fact, if you don't put yourself first, the universe will force you to put yourself first. And it does it in a couple of different ways. If you're not spending time and money, the money is an important part, on you doing something that fills you with good feelings, with love, with peace, that's absolutely nourishing your soul, your spirit. If you don't spend the time and the money to do that, you will find yourself with unexpected expenses. A car repair, a house repair, maybe an appliance will break down, or the other way that you'll be forced to spend money on yourself and time taking care of yourself would be an illness, a condition, an injury where you'll have to spend money. In all those cases, there's no choice. The money is going to be spent, but you get to choose to spend it in a way that allows you to be all you can be, to be the best you you can be, to make your everyday life less stressful, more enjoyable, and everybody around you benefits. Now here's the thing, if you're a woman, you're taking care of other people all the time. So when I say loving yourself for spend money on something that makes you happy, I'm not talking about going out there and buying things for other people, doing favors for other people. It's something for you. And remember, if you have daughters, well, you're always going to be the role model. They're going to grow up teaching others to treat them the way you're teaching others to treat you. You actually train people how to treat you. So if you feel ignored, it's not the other people's fault. It's you and what you're doing. So what are you going to do today? Go out. Figure it out first. Schedule it. But not schedule it. Not I'm going to do it. Not I will do it. Do it. Get it on your calendar with a reservation, with a purchase today. Now, you haven't seen me around a lot lately because the universe decided I wasn't spending money on myself. Oh dear, what a thing to realize. It created a horribleness in my environment. And for a month, I've just had major health challenges because I needed to take time to take care of me instead of taking care of everybody else. I needed to spend some money doing things to improve my health and my well-being. So I'm happy to say I found a bunch of new book groups and I'm going to them and I've read like six books in the last couple weeks and meeting lots of new people and I got some new air filters because there was just no way to reclaim my air filters after they cleaned my environment. They were gone. They were wasted. But what's most important is I found a Qigong teacher that I've been looking for for a long, long time. Because what I know is true and complete healing takes body, mind, and spirit. So if you're doing any kind of health care practice, that's ignoring the spiritual aspect, you're just not going to be able to create a complete healing. Now I'm putting a link down below this video so that you also can take advantage of this very special Qigong for women because we have different needs. And all the other Qigong teachers I had before, they were men. Not to say that is bad, just to say I have some female needs. 
So taking care of you, no. The universe will always cooperate. I've been looking for months for this person, and by giving me the attention of causing the environmental stress and health challenge, health projects, I finally found the teacher came to me. I didn't have to look, and that's what you'll always find, what you're looking for. You put it out to the universe, and the universe delivers it 100% of the time. 100% of the time. I'm Ellie Beerman. I'm really glad you came by today. Glad that you're choosing to take care of you. And you can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.